Welcome back to the Summit Hydraulics channel. My name is Sam, and today we're going to be showcasing some of the popular products that Summit Hydraulics has to offer. Here we have our very own flow divider. We do carry a couple different versions of this. This one has four ports on the back right here, and then it has two ports on both sides. So coming from this flow divider, this is great for any uh, car lifts or anything like that where you want to distribute flow evenly to maybe raise a cylinder up and down evenly if you have it going to two separate or even to go from your two separate valves as well. So moving on from that, here we have a uh, directional control valve. This valve is rated for up to 27 gallons per minute. Um, it is also considered a sandwich valve because you can remove these bolts off the side and you can combine multiple of these valves together. Not only that, but this valve does also have a pressure relief built into it. Um, you know, it's just in case you uh, happen to, you know, overload the amount of flow so you don't deadhead your pump or anything like that. Um, with that being said, it does have power beyond capability. If you wanted to feed flow downstream to another valve, you would need a power beyond sleeve, inserted sleeve. You would remove this plug, insert the sleeve, and then that would allow you to distribute flow downstream. Not only that, um, but it does have a pressure and tank return as well. Here we have a directional control valve uh, configuration. This uh, block right here is set up for one spool. So this is where you would mount it up. So you may see this in a lot of our tractor kits for our third functions or rear remote kits for any Kubota, John Deere, LS, or anything like that if you're adding additional hydraulics to your tractor. But it doesn't only have to be tractor hydraulics. It could also be you know, adding hydraulics on for your truck if you have a crane or anything else like that. But basically we carry this in uh, from one to four spool options. This is, I believe, our 15 gallon per minute valve. And uh, we do carry this in a 25 gallon per minute as well. And this just has pressure and tank. And then obviously if you have multiple spools, it has your A and B lines either going to your motor or to your cylinder. And then as far as actuation, we do have Deutsch connectors for the solenoids and DIN connectors. And uh, those can be toggled with a momentary button, or sorry, momentary switch, or even a uh, joystick style uh, momentary buttons. So coming from our directional control valve, here we have our monoblock valve. Very, very similar to the directional control valve. The operation is the same. This one is just configured differently. This is just everything in one rather than mounting the spool onto the, the block itself. But this is our biggest, or one of the biggest, I believe seven circuits is the biggest we carry. This is a six uh, six spool monoblock valve. Uh, this valve right here is rated for 11 gallons per minute. We do carry a 21 gallon per minute as well. Uh, also, this valve does have power beyond capability. So not only if you're coming from your pump to this valve and you want to feed to another valve downstream, you could insert obviously a power beyond sleeve into the power beyond port and then you could feed hydraulics downstream. These valves do come standardly set up as open center, so in order to convert to a closed center system, you would need a closed center adapter plug here as well. And same thing goes, uh, these do have DIN connectors on the coils themselves, and then we offer a couple different uh, actuations for these. But you can also uh, kind of uh, mess with it yourself if you want to do things wirelessly, and if you're handy with that, you can rig up these valves wirelessly, but they work great for a lot of uh, add-ons for your custom truck or even uh, additional hydraulics for your tractor or skid steer or anything quite like that. Here we have our high flow multiplier valve. This valve right here is rated up to 40 gallons per minute. This is the biggest multiplier we carry. Uh, this is a great addition uh, for adding easy uh, additional remotes to your uh, tractor or any hydraulics, hydraulic valves like that if you want to add more remotes. Uh, with that being said that it is a multiplier, it is basically a diverter valve. So adding it to an existing uh, function in your system like an existing valve it's going to allow you say for example two or four more remotes in the case that you have a four circuit multiplier so you would still be using the existing control but you would only be able to indicate you know one at a time or two at a time or a couple at a time depending on what type of control you have coming off of that we have our hm2 multiplier here this valve is rated for 20 gallons per minute this is one of my favorite valves we carry this is a great addition for adding ad any additional remotes easily to your tractor or any of your farm equipment or even um, your truck equipment as well. 
Uh, it just has two ports on the back, so if you had two auxiliaries, uh, say for like a rear remote, you plug these in and it would give you additional functions. We carry this um, in multiple um, circuits as well. This is a two circuit, so this is a great to add, say, uh, you know, grapple function to your tractor if your tractor has third function or if you want to add third function coming from your tilt function you can plug that straight into here obviously these would be going to your tilt cylinder and these would be going to your third function and that would allow you to toggle between the two and easily add additional hydraulics it's very minimal plumbing quite like our hm2 valve this is another one of our multiplier valves that we have here this is a manual multiplier valve though uh, other one was solenoid operated this one is only manual so same configuration Obviously a lot more simple. You don't have any hassle of the wiring harness or anything like that. So if you're old school and you don't like wiring and all that, this is a great way to add additional circuits and allow you to toggle between additional uh, hydraulics on your systems. Here at Summit Hydraulics, we are a HydroForce dealer. We carry multiple types of coils available in stock as well as in many different types of connections. So not only we carry different types as far as sizes go, but we do carry them in, in uh, 12 volt, 24, uh, 10 volt, um, as well as 115 volt and 110 volt as well. Here we have a single spool uh, monoblock valve. This is just like our six circuit we talked about earlier. Uh, nothing too, too different, but this is a great additional for adding, you know, say if you wanted to add a thumb function on your backhoe, this is a great addition to do so. Uh, just like this, just like the six spool, this one does also have power beyond capability. And then uh, also if you need a close center valve, you can also insert our close center plug. And that's how you would turn this 11 per minute or 11 gallon per minute Z50 valve into a close center valve. Here we have our manual monoblock two spool valve. Uh, we do carry this one. This is an 11 gallon per minute. And then we also carry it in a 21 gallon per minute as well as well as in multiple spool types. Here we have a two spool. With our manual valves, we do also offer detents as well. So if you wanna, uh, after the fact, you know, install a detent, we do sell the spools and the pieces for the detent. Say if you wanted to lock the lever in place or even also have flow as well. This is great for if you have a, uh, you know, a service truck, say a tow truck, for example, and you want manual controls. This is a great addition for that or even if you wanted to add uh, additional functions for your tractor. We also do have loader valves as well, so it would be a two spool configuration like this, but with one joystick coming out, and obviously it would be front, back, left, right, obviously all the functions you need to raise, lower, and tilt and curl your bucket. But not only that, this valve is also power beyond capable. So coming out of your end port, which is your power beyond port, you would just insert the power beyond sleeve, and then obviously if you have a closed center system, we also sell closed center plugs as well to convert this valve into closed center as well. Like I said before, we are a HydroForce dealer here at Summit Hydraulics. We carry many configurations of cartridge valves and couplers. Here we have one of our cartridge valve manifolds here. Uh, we do carry these in multiple types if you need it, uh, you know, always closed or always open. These are great for uh, diverting fluid in any direction you need. And then also we carry them in different sizes as needed. And then here we have our popular DV90 valve. We do carry this valve in a couple different ways. Um, we do have a DV50 valve, which is rated for 13 gallons per minute. Our DV90 valve comes in uh, two different versions, uh, 24 gallon per minute, as well as a 30 gallon per minute. And then obviously the port sizes uh, for this valve are number 8 SAE and then for our other version they would also be number 10 SAE but this is a great addition you know for adding an additional function to your excavator tractor or even your service truck if you're wanting to toggle between another function coming off of an existing valve uh, these valves are also stackable we do sell uh, kits to uh, stack the valves together but um, yeah and then also the coils as well we uh, also, also offer Deutsch and DIN connectors as well. Thank you for tuning in with us in today's video. If there's any products that you didn't see us showcase today that you would like us to talk more about, please let us know down below in the comments. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in with us.